What's everybody, Mellow Gaming here, back at it again with another episode of Fears to Fathom Woodbury Getaway. Where we left off, we got to the cabin, <clears throat> and now we have to set up everything, I guess. All right, so we're back to where we left off. I didn't know, I did not expect that to take that long. Feeling better after the yeah feeling better after the drive much better now so ready to check out the, the place sounds good to me after you all right this is a nice cozy little cabin to be honest with you that's someone was outside dude you know check out the basement so i think oh come on let's go let's check out the basement Oh, look at that. Oh, a totally normal basement. This place totally reminds me of your father's dorm. Are you sure? I don't smell the long beach cush here. Okay, neither do I. I just have a feeling something's gonna jump out at me. <laughs> no access to guests. Couldn't open the door. I wonder what this guy doesn't want us to see. Same here, bro. All right, let's get out of here. Cedar Crouch. Oh, I don't like that. Sorry, Mike. Get up the freaking steps, bro. All right, let's check out the upstairs. Okay, just a little closet, not too bad. Oh, hey, you're here. Oh, my God. Why? Every time I did it. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. You scared me. You scared me. Oopsie daisy. I didn't mean to. Welcome to my homes. Sweet home. What a lovely young couple. No, no. We're not a couple. You didn't have to sell it that hard. I was uh, just answering his question. He didn't ask questions and he made a statement and you never mind. Oopsie daisy, silly me. Didn't mean to cause a stir with you two. We didn't expect anyone to be here. Oh, um, I was out looking for my cat earlier and I remembered that the TV was been on, uh, that the TV been on the fritz here. Just thought I'd stop by and try to get it working again since the last few folks left a bad word for it you know they say treat your guests like family my family doesn't go without tv speaking of that now that you folks are here let me show you around my sweet home right now i'd be a bad owner if i didn't give you the grand tour <sighs> host was a, was a middle-aged man with a nervous energy Here's your shower. That that thing will make your feet like you're bathing under a waterfall in the Amazon jungle. Oh, the sink doesn't work, unfortunately. Not to worry. I'll get it fixed for you real soon. Let me show you the other bedroom now. That is a nice shower. God, I'm still... Look, Harp, this room has a nice-ass view. You think that's nice, mister? Wait till I show you the deck. Follow me now, please. Um, I, I, I can't. Ooh, look at the little couch. Well, holy smoke, this place is incredible. Incredibly cold. Glad your folks like it. This is one of my favorite spots. The view of the creek is beautiful. It's a great spot for fishing too. All right, folks, let's head back in before I catch the cold here again. This is a nice view. Nice little campfire outside. Oh, we got a place to wash our bed, our laundry. God, dude, like you seriously scared, literally scared. I was not even expecting it. Here's the storage room. If you need anything 
tools, extra blanket, whatnot. It's all in here. If the power ever goes out, we can use this flashlight here on my right. Storms like these. You never know. Thanks. All right, folks. Let's head downstairs now. Oh, why are you walking so close to me? Alrighty, folks. I see you already stocked up the fridge with some tasty food. You see the knob? Turn the knob up for more cooling and down to cool it off. I tend to keep it low in the winter. The bill gets out of control. Speaking of winter, I better show you folks a water heater. Oh, dokie. Nothing to worry about down here, just the water heater and some old storage stuff. If it ever stops working, just hit the button at the bottom. The pilot light will fire right up and you'll be back in business. Oh, that's the pilot light. Hey sir, what's the deal with that room over there? Nothing you two need to concern, concern yourselves with. I kind of use the basement as storage. Renters don't need the space, they really ought to keep upstairs. Okay, well, I was just curious. Let's move on. Dude, it's freaky. Uh, I don't like the fact he just stopped there. Is there a glitch? What the? Ah, oh, I think it. Did I mention? Well, no, maybe I ought to keep to myself. This fellow I bought this house from, well, told me his mother died down here. Some guests have reported hearing voices at night, said they could hear something shuffling around down here. Not to scare you folks, but if I were one of you, I wouldn't really step down here. Bruh. <laughs> it looks on your faces. Come on now, I'm just look I'm just joking. Oh my god. At this point my creep meter was quickly around a six to a ten. Alrighty folks. Snow's starting to pick up. I'm gonna hit the road now. Gotta find that damn cat. Alright, buddy. And by the way, what was the name on the booking? I must be getting old. Ha, Sydney, that's right. Pretty name for a pretty girl. Mike, why do you look like that, bro? Is it just me or is that dude super weird? Very weird. Anyway, let's go see if there's anything good on TV. Oh, I didn't read that fully. Cool, I'm gonna find something to watch while you're in there. Let me know if it feels like you're under a waterfall. What a weird guy. Think, see you in a bit. I don't want to go upstairs now. Oh, well. Let's go. God, that scared me so badly. game bro this game doesn't stop with the jump scares i'm telling you oh god something's gonna jump out at me again isn't it oh <laughs> Hey, Harp, check this out. I found this fishing rod in that shed. Now that you mentioned, that would be a pretty epic addition to the trip. Let's do it. Hell yeah, follow me. There's another rod in the shed. So we can both give it a shot. 
Why did you just grab the other rod? You should just grab both the rods and I didn't have to worry. Whoa, do you want to grab the other fishing rod heart? Yeah, just give me a second. Oh snap, I saw a killer recipe for baked carp. We'll need to catch three carp though. You up for the challenge? Yes. But well, first things first, we need to find the right bait for the carp. Check out this bait information board. Oh dude, how did you look at it? Whenever you are ready, grab a carp, grab a carp bait and let's head to the creek. We're gonna catch some carp carp. Please don't take don't make rhymes with my name. Where's carp bait? Common carp. Cheese delight. Right? Cheese delight? Come on, harp. It's, it's this way. I got was everything good i got carp bait and i got our fishing rod i hope those carp are biting today what i get to fish I try that again. Now I think the old saying is right. A bad day for fishing is still better than a good day at work. Good lord. fish we don't need a blue gill fish we need a carp oh got it oh they say whenever there's one carp there's always more Maybe I should have cast it over there. Like right there. Would have been good. It would have been good. Hopefully the microphone audio quality is better now since I have my mic a little bit closer. Oops, I missed that one. But yeah, I come, as you guys can see, you can see my microphone now. Um, yeah, it's a little bit closer for better audio quality. Got him. Too far to cast. Did you get any carp yet? Did you catch any carp yet? I don't think so. I'm doing all the work here. Ooh, common carp. Keep it. Woohoo! Just one more carp left. You got this. Dude, you're not doing any of the work. Nope. Oh, I'm, I'm doing all the work right now. Got it. 
A goldfish? Keep the goldfish. That's a great fish heart, but we're on a carp catching mission today. Toss that one back in. I wanted the goldfish. Because it's a snack. That smells bad. Yep. All right. Blue gill. Throw it. I'm just trying to get. That was a good cast. Oh, we should get a carp. We should have a carp now. This is taking a little bit longer than normal. Well, I should say normal, but I'm surprised they built this little mini game in here. Yes, keep it. All right, Harp, looks like you got three carp. Do you want to head back? Let's do it. I always feel like the music's getting tenser for no reason. Okay, music got darker. I closed that door. What the hell? Oh, the music got darker. You know what that means. Close the door. Oh God, while I'm cleaning the fridge, do you mind preparing the marinade? I'm not trying to do that. Just take a bowl and throw it in. Throw in ginger paste, cooking oil, black pepper, salt, Italian seasoning, and paprika and yogurt. Okay. So. This is already long enough. So we're going to go ahead and stop it here. The next episode, hopefully, we can uh, see what's going on with the music. Why is it getting so tense? Very excited to see where this uh, story leads us to. So I want to say thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of fears to fathom would bury getaway and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out